Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Com, and this is a new series called 30 for 30, where I do 30 rapid fire critiques in 30 days, 15 Adorama picks, and 15 Squarespace rapid fire critiques. If you want to see all of the rapid fire critiques in one place, go ahead, click up on the screen right now. We'll take you over to the website to do that, but let's get into a critique. Here we go with another Squarespace rapid fire critique, part of my 30 critiques in 30 days, and this time, it's finally not a Squarespace site. Now what I will say is that 90 some percent of the sites that were submitted for review were on Squarespace, which absolutely, you know, thank you guys very much for doing that. Uh, I've been looking for sites that weren't done on Squarespace, so people can't sit there and be like, all you do is pick Squarespace sites. But if that's what you guys are submitting and what you're using, then I'll critique it. So this time, it looks like it's Matthew, Matthew Watkins Photography from Zenfolio. And by the way, if you do want to check out Squarespace, go to squarespace.com slash fro to get a 14 day free trial. This one is built off of Zenfolio. Zenfolio is another turnkey solution that's out there that I've, I've used in the past to sell images. It's Smug Mug, Zenfolio, and Squarespace. Squarespace is more on the, the, the side of building, not so much as selling images as uh, Smug Mug and Zenfolio. Uh, but they also have templates to build sites. Now the first thing I noticed with this site is when I reload it is that this is Flash. Flash is a killer. I've said it in a bunch of different of these critiques. You cannot have Flash on your websites anymore. It just doesn't compute well at all on the phones. Is it responsive? Sort of. It's kind of responsive. All right, so it is responsive, but this is the front page. It's a gallery of rotating images, which is fine. It's beautiful. It's nice, but what the heck is this font? Matthew Watkins is a self-taught, passionate photographer. This should be in your About Me section. And wait a second. Check out his day-to-day -day work at Matt Tub something. Interesting that it links out away from your own site. I probably wouldn't recommend that you link people away from your own website. You could build Tumblr into the website here if you wanted people to view your work or set up a blog or set up something like that. Maybe Zenfolio doesn't do that, but I know that Squarespace would let you do something similar where it would ingest or bring in the images that you post on Tumblr. But first, I can't even read all this because it's all capital letters. Don't write in capital letters completely, and the font, I'm having trouble reading it. I am blind enough as it is, and to make it larger, and it's not even black, it's a, it's a gray, it's the font. I, I can't, I'm lost, I can't do it. I just, I really can't read it because it hurts my head. So let's look at the, look at my photographs. All my photos. Look at all my photos. All right, so here we have, I can't even read what it says, family studio portraits, I think. So it looks like, whoa, what is this? I can rate them? Oh no, it's something hidden. Okay. So we click on that and then we've got these galleries. Oh my God, that's a lot of images here. And then when I click on it, can I cycle through it hopefully? Is it flash again? Okay, we can dim the lights. I like that I can dim the lights. What happens when I hit escape? Okay. How do I get to the next image? Do I click it? No. Can I click over here? Yes. All right, so I found it, that's fine. I can do that, that goes through the images. I can click over here. I don't mind having this over here with the info and everything along those lines, but what is that info? Wow, it gives you the info of, of the actual image. So back, let's go back to the main page here. It's a little hard to get through uh, your photographs. Featured. What's going on? I don't see anything happening. Recently added, recently added. So I guess these are galleries, recently added, prices. Okay, newborn sessions. See, I can read this font. This text is much easier to read. One correction though, I do like the font that you used this time, is that this orientation, people say left justified, not center justified, works. Left is just easier to read than reading it in this type of segment. Uh, this includes cake smash. Really? This includes two hour super messy photography session at the studio. Personalized yummy creamy cake from Miss Moe's Delico. Here Ford included protected web gallery. Wow. Wow. That's interesting. I've never heard of that. At least there's no pricing here. I'm happy that there's no pricing here. So I don't mind that. Just get the, like, change the 
the orientation. But it shouldn't say prices, though. Oh, look, another website that it launched to, wedding packages and prices. All right, so I'm seeing the wedding packages, but I'm not seeing prices. And I don't want to see prices, but it should never say prices. It should say packages, and it should say contact me for more information. I, I got to go back because it launched in a new site. Let's click on the about. Uh, again, the same font. I, I, I can't do it. I can't read it. I'm not going to read it because of that font. Then contact, I can handle the contact, but again, that font, I can't read it. Even when I zoom in like this, I gotta zoom in all the way here to try to read it even better. It's just toy fonts don't work on your website. And it has nothing to do, look, the point is, it has nothing to do with what website builder you use, whether you use Squarespace, whether you use WordPress, SmugMug, Zenfolio, or any other site builder out there. Using the wrong font on any website is going to make it harder to read, and I don't want to sit there and decipher what it's saying because it's this weird uppercase font the whole time. Choose a better simple font. There's a reason that there's simple fonts out there that are bold enough to read because they just work. They just, they just look better and they're easier to pay attention to and they're easier to read. So now I gotta go through and give the positive reinforcements. I love the photos. I like the photos here. I like the ideas of the cake smash. Uh, super messy, it just, I mean, it sounds really bad in some senses of the word, but for parents, they may love that type of thing, a, a messy cake smash. And the cake is made by a delicatessen and you gotta make sure that, you know, you just have to be careful that if they choke on something that you're not getting sued and you just, you obviously don't want anything bad going on. So you have to make sure they're not lactose intolerant, not that you know, because they're infants. And there's just a lot you need to be careful about when it comes to bringing the food in, have a contract, make sure it says something. Not that a contract is gonna help you if something does go wrong, because you're gonna feel, feel terrible. But the point is, I like the photos that are on the site. The site could be much cleaner, much more organized with your best images. There are too many images in too many different places that I found it very hard to find the galleries that I wanted to look at. It looks like you want to focus on weddings, children's photos, and family portraits. Well, then focus on those three things and put up uh, you know, a wedding portfolio, a family portrait portfolio, and the cake smash one. I think that's your money maker right there is the cake smash thing. That's really cool. And coming up with inventive and unique ideas like that is a great way to grow your business. So I'm gonna, let me, let me read, let's see. There was something else I wanted to see here. There's a self-taught passionate photographer, South Wales, creating a, oh, uh, well, while I read, finally read that real quick, he's talking about himself in third person. Just call yourself who you are. My name's Matt. I'm self-taught. I love photography. I love photographing families and their kids and those intimate moments that are important to you for living on, for you to enjoy for the rest of your life type of stuff. Just own it. Just don't be third person. You know, it just, it's more personal when you say it or more per personable when you say it directly to the people. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, Take it for what it is, learn from it, and apply this to your site, no matter what site you have, learn something from this. So, that's another Squarespace rapid fire critique. This time it was a Zenfolio website, um, and I do critiques of whatever websites people send. So whatever you send in, I will critique them. If you haven't, or you don't have a website currently, and you would like to build one, a portfolio, or whatever your website would like to be, go to squarespace.com slash fro. You can get a 14-day free trial with no credit card needed. If you do like it, use my code fro at checkout to get 10% off your entire year on your first order. That's going to make it 8 bucks a month. It's so worth it. That's it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. To check out all the videos from this 30 for 30 series, go ahead and click up on the screen right now. It's going to take you over to the post over on froknowsphoto.com where you can see all 30 posts once they are live.